So guys, just a quick video on the J-Slave update and what I'm going to tell you now is if you're believing that Tom's dad has not forgotten and this is a revenge attack on Jay Slater from Tom Hilton and the family. Tom's dad ain't going to get a revenge attack. Jay Slater looks like an innocent guy. Obviously, yeah, we've seen the stuff in the media and with the watch and stuff like that, but it's all hearsay because we don't know what the fuck happened in the story. So every story can be true and every story can be false, but everyone's just believing that one story or another story or another story. And what you've got to look at is a whole and most 98% of people are not looking at that. They're just listening to something that sounds good, too good and running with it. Then they share it. Some of the other TikTokers on here, um, I won't mention any, but there's a guy that I seen uh, early on. And he's just sat there and he's pointing saying, is this Jay? He knows it's not Jay. He's just doing it for views. If you're going to be an armchair detective, for say, or a TikTok detective, blah, 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 I get it called every single fucking day. If you're going to do stuff, you've got to do it right. Fuck the if, buts and maybes. Just get them actual facts. So, making your videos into some are uh, conspiracy and then some of your videos are faked and then some of your videos are supposedly real. You can't mix them all in between. You've got to actually go with 100% of what you do. This is why I have I've had over probably 12,000 people follow me in the last two weeks because of this reason. Because they see I speak facts and I don't fucking ramble on and I don't piss about. I just get to the fucking point. I've just seen Paul now on live and all he was saying was, thank you, I need water, guys. I better take some now or I'll forget. Oh, I've got cramp, guys. Oh, my leg's got cramp. He's walking the same route, pointing at the Airbnb, which I keep telling everyone this. He's walking exactly the same route. He's on live. He's just made half a million likes. Probably how many gifts on this poor Jay Slater kid. And his family's probably there thinking, this cheeky fuck is fucking... This, this guy's fucking making money off our kid. Pretending that he's looking and he's not. We've all had our conspiracies against the families and I've I've literally stopped against the family. Obviously at the start of the story it all looked fake because Debbie wasn't crying. But you know what? Fuck all that. I'm not asked about all that. The kid is still gone. No one's right and no one's wrong. So if it's five TikTok detectives that are fucking all over the internet saying this, that and the other one, it's not a wrong story. But you just need to stop fucking saying these little things like, is this Jay? Or these box battles with seven, seven, eight different people in that don't have a clue. They're not armchair detectives. All they do is say they're just updating people on the stuff. So then people are actually worse for the, the 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 evidence because now those people are actually the ones that are spreading the lies because they believe every single video. So that's how lies are spread when you when you share every video. And you actually don't have a target in, in place and a, and, and, and a forward motion. So 